In this video, I will show you step by step exactly how to use Recruit CRM for your recruitment agency. So if you're looking for an applicant tracking system slash CRM for your recruitment business, then here is how you can use Recruit CRM to help you with just that. Now it does also do other things. You can see that on their product, their main thing is ATS and CRM, but they also have a new jobs and contact finder, career page and candidate portal builder, on top of a bunch more features. I'll show you how to do everything and to get started, I will leave a link to them down in the description where you can get started for free. So if you want to follow along, you can click on that link and from there click try for free. And then you will see this. So here you can see you can get an unlimited free trial without needing to enter any payment details. So we're just gonna enter these details and select your time zone and agree to recruit CRM's TOS and privacy policy. Then after doing that, just gonna verify your email address. So after doing that, it will take you to the onboardings. First, tell them about your business, what kind of a business do you have? And then the number of ATS slash CRM users in your company. So essentially how many people will work inside of the recruit CRM software at your company? For example, four to nine, and then click get started. Now they have a getting started checklist, which I recommend going through. So first you can download their sourcing extension. And you can see this is a Chrome extension. It has five stars out of five. And you can see some of the features that it includes. So basically it allows you to source candidates and clients from any page on the internet and is optimized for LinkedIn. So if you use LinkedIn for getting candidates, then this is definitely helpful to install. So just add extension and I'll show you how to use that later. For now, you can continue with these other steps right here, such as connecting your emails, submitting candidates, workflow automations, but here you also have some other steps. So you can import candidates, invite your teammates, import companies, you can watch their help videos, but what I would recommend doing to get started is to just add your first client slash company. So if you click import companies, then you can upload a file. So if you already have a database where you have them listed, you can use that. But what you can also just do is expand the dashboard in the left here and then go to companies. And then from here, go and add a company yourself. So it's not that difficult. Just enter their name, industry, and any other useful details for you. You can also add your own custom fields, which can be helpful. Then here, enter the contact details for the company. So basically, who do you speak with at the company? They've already added one as an example. So they have Dunder Mifflin right here. And then you can, for example, have different tabs with open jobs, closed jobs, on hold jobs, cancel jobs, who the owner is. So that's one of your teammates. And you have a hot list. So essentially how urgent it is. And here under actions, you can edit anything else that you want. Now, if you click on the preview icon right here, you can also see some insights such as the activities for this job or the actual open jobs. For example, here, a paper sales executive. And then what you can do is view the candidate pipeline. Now, of course, you will need to add candidates first, but this is some sample data that they have created. And then here you can see all of your candidates. Now you also have list views or Kanban views. So whichever one you prefer, you can use. Personally, I like the Kanban view where you can just move them along to different stages, which is what a CRM does, of course. And then if you hover over one of these candidates, you also have these convenient buttons and each of them does something else. For example, this one right here is to email them. But for this, you will need to first connect your email. What you can also do is click on this green one and then you can add a note to a specific applicant. For example, if they said something on a call that you want to remember, they can just write that down right here. Then if you want to, for example, book in a call with this applicant, all you have to do is click on this one in the left, and then here set a title, owner, related to, and then connect a Google Meet link, a Microsoft Teams link, or a Zoom link, whichever one you prefer. You can set the attendees. So for example, the owner of the business or your contact person, as well as the applicant and you. Then you can set any collaborators, the business type, the start time, etc. Now, if you head into the settings right here, so admin settings, you can see there's a bunch of stuff that you can also go and update. 
So for example, the CRM process, customization, such as the contact stages, hiring pipeline, etc. Then your admin settings, such as the plan you are on. Then you have the job settings, data customization, and much more. Now in the contacts tab, you can add any contacts which are related to a company. So first you want to go and create a company. So just add a company and then down here you add the contact. So then that will show up in the contacts section right here. But the contacts are not the applicants, which is important to know. The applicants you can add in the candidates tab right here. So once you go to the candidates tab, if you have multiple jobs that are open, you will first need to select the job. And also if you have multiple companies, you will need to set it to the right company. But from here, you can then add any candidates or you can import them using a CSV or XLS file. For example, if you run ads for your recruitment, let's say Facebook ads, they can export all of the candidates into one of these files and then import them right here in one of those file types. So for example, CSV, and that way you can import them in bulk from, for example, Facebook ads. Now, if you don't have that many candidates, you can also just add them manually by clicking on add candidate. And then here you can upload their resume, first and last name, and anything else that you would like to add. And again, you can also add custom fields down here. But for me, pretty much everything that you need to know about an applicant is already here, such as their work history, education history, the employment information, etc. Now then here you can also add notes to specific candidates again by clicking on notes or you can click on add call log. So if you have had a call with them, for example, you can select when that was and then what the call was about, which basically just means that you don't have to remember everything in your head. You can just write it all down. And that is what the CRM and ATS system is for, of course. Now, if you go to jobs right here, which is right under context, you can also add more jobs. And again, personally, I like the Kanban view right here. So you have the job and right now it's in the open column. You can have it on hold, canceled or closed. So if you click add job, you can first select the company it's for. So if you work with multiple companies, then you can select it. And then from here, just write something about the job and just go to create it, the maximum experience, salary type, etc. And then you can click save job. And then you will also have that in your board right there. Now in the mailbox, if you have connected your email, then from here you can both send and receive or read emails. So I would recommend connecting an email that you only use for reaching out to applicants. So that's right here, you only get emails about that. You can also set up email templates. You have your sequence enrollment, so you can create a sequence and you can see your call logs if you have them. Then in tasks and meetings, you can see any calls that you have booked on top of any other activity. For example, here you have some activity that says remind to attend interview, which means that you need to call or you can also add this to another one of your team members. But basically they need to call the applicant to remind them to attend the meeting so that the employer that you are working for or the business you're working for does not have that many no-shows. And this is also pretty smart to do. Now, next you have the deals right here. So under deals, you can see how much it is worth. So you have your total weighted pipeline, total pipeline deals won and deals lost. So if you add a deal, you can give it a name and then a value as well as the stage it is in and then who it relates to. So which company that you work with and for which job it is. So any open job that they have. So basically, if you know you earn this amount, if you find a good person, then you can just write that right here. And for example, if the value for you is 5,000, then you can just write that here and click on submit. And now you can see you then have this deal in your deals section. Now again, I'll set it to Kanban. And then you can see how much your pipeline is worth. Now the weighted amount is basically a calculation or estimate of how likely they are to actually convert. So for example, if your total open jobs are worth 50,000 for you, but you would only close 10% of them, then the weighted amount would in that case be 5,000. Now you can go and update this because 10% is quite low. 
So if you want to update that, you just head into the admin settings and then here go deals pipeline. And you can see a certain percentage right here. So for example, if it's in the open column, they estimate it right now at 10%. But let's say you have the data and you know that 30% of the jobs that is in the open column for you will get closed. Then you can set that to 30. And let's say if it's in progress, it is 75%. They can just go and save that. And now when I go back to the deals, the same 5,000 is now worth 1,500 euros. If I move it into in progress, then it should go to 75%. And you can see that now it is worth 75% of the deal value. And then if it's one, it should of course go to 100%. So that's something else that you could use to basically kind of keep track of how much your pipeline is worth and what kind of upcoming earnings you could expect. Then you have your reports right here where you can basically see how you're doing. Now they have standard reports and advanced analytics. So you have your total deals, how many candidates have applied, interviews rescheduled, and this only really becomes valuable when you have been using Recruit CRM for a little while, but they do have very good analytics, especially the advanced analytics, but for this, you will need to upgrade your account. Now, finally, you have your placements and billing right here, where you can basically track any placements you have done and your invoices. Now, in terms of pricing, they have the free plan where you have 50 users allowed, and here you won't get access to all features, of course, if you want to upgrade your account, you can see with monthly billing, the pro plan, which is ideal for professionals, is 95 euros per user per month. Business is the most popular plan, which is ideal for established firms looking to scale at 135 euros per user per month. And finally, enterprise is 150 euros per user per month, but they only have annual billing. Now with annual, you will save 20% on these two plans. Now, after that, you can also customize your plan so you can add any specifics that you need, such as additional records, additional monthly seats, or for example, the LinkedIn integration. Now, finally, you also have the extension. So if you open that up, you can see right here that wherever you are, for example, if you are in LinkedIn, you can just open up this extension and then click plus candidate, plus contact or company, then just add their details and click save company or candidate. And when you do that, then it will be added to Recruit CRM in whichever section you selected. So that way you can go, for example, to a lead database, such as Zoom info, and then from there, just go through it and just copy and paste everything in and click Save Candidate. And that is also quite a fast way to import candidates, contacts and companies. So that's how to use Recruit CRM. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel and signing up through my link down in the description. That will earn a commission if you do decide to get the pay plan. But of course, they also have the free forever plan, so you can also just use it for free if you don't need all of the more advanced features. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.